The crash happened July 19th at 4.50. The last thing I remember was 4.30 that day. Witnesses told troopers that Yusa was going around 85 miles per hour when he hit Omira from behind, throwing him onto the highway. And I woke up two days later, around five o'clock, I think. Um, that, so I have two days that I have no idea what happened. So let's start off with the um, concussion, this uh, severe concussion. Um, and I had two seizures, one before I got to the hospital and then one when I was there. Um, and then I had just severe road rash. So road rash all over on my arm, part of my leg, my midsection was all, that was a lot of severe road rash there and then uh, three broken ribs. I was surprised at how pretty well he was doing, considering he had a significant motorcycle accident traveling at interstate speeds when a man hit him, you know, without protect, he wasn't, um, he didn't have protective clothing on or a helmet. Um, and so his injuries could have been so much more significant than they were, but yet they were still pretty significant for what um, for a motorcycle accident, you know, and he had a lot of recovery ahead of him. So let's just start off with my first session to after my third session. After my third session, um, the pain in my back was gone. Like even to this day, I, I don't really have any of that pain that I had when I had, a, that I had at the hospital. I can, oh, and then um, I can actually take deeper breaths now, um, fuller breaths. Um, I actually have a lot more energy, which can be a bad thing um, because I don't want to do more around the house, but I can't, um, not yet. Um, a lot less pain in my neck. Um, I was going from three or four neck lockups a day to, I don't actually think I've had any so far neck lockups, my neck would just start to hurt a little bit. Um, and that pain is lessening now. Okay. Crazy thing. Okay, so after the eighth session, that was a Wednesday, going, my pain level for my arm and my leg was about a seven. That, that hurt quite a bit. Uh, Thursday, it was a one. I, crazy. Um, so it's just eight sessions. I, so I stopped taking um, one of my uh, gabapentin, my nerve pain. Um, I was able to get off of the pharmaceutical drugs without Swanson's hyperbarics. I really don't think I would have had this quality so far. Um, the OT specialist said that um, my brain right now, a month out, is at the um, was a recovery rate of about a three month patient. During his treatment, he was noticing, and his OT um, practitioners were noticing that he was advancing about two months ahead of schedule on what he should have been. So hyperbaric oxygen therapy can significantly increase that healing from traumatic brain injuries. After we do the um, the rings in the back, the PEMF. After one session, like I said before, uh, my neck just improved. And I think I've done like two or three sessions with that. Um, there's no sudden pain. There's no um, neck locking, there's nothing. So he did uh, PEMF therapy, the pulsed electromagnetic fields um, with the ring um, to the back of his neck to increase blood flow and decrease inflammation. Um, it's just helping to, you know, force more energy into those ligaments, those muscles around the neck that I'm sure were torqued quite a bit in the accident. The road rash has gone down significantly. Like it is, really hard to really understand of where I was at before and where I'm at now. It's, it's, it's overwhelming because I'm, it's just so quick of how I'm healing. If I wasn't able to be doing these sessions at Swanson's Hyperbarics, I know that I wouldn't be feeling as great. I'm, I'm just looking at my hand and 
it doesn't even look like I was in a motorcycle crash. Like you, you wouldn't even think I was hit at hundred miles an hour. Um, so I'm watching this heel just right before my eyes, honestly. His road rash was healing again at that 50 to maybe even up to 80% faster, which is what we typically see with hyperbaric oxygen therapy. His, again, his doctors were very fascinated at how he, his wounds were healing up. Like right now I'm not in pain and I'm happy and I love it. And I'm, I'm very outspoken about what Swanson's Hyperbarics has done for me. When I come here, it's not just physical help I'm getting, I'm getting a lot of spiritual help. I'm getting a lot of guidance that I wouldn't have gotten ordinarily. And with everything combined with the staff, with, with all of their knowledge and all of their intellectual healing, plus the physical healing, I, I, I feel like a thousand million dollars, <laughs> you know? Um, I feel a lot better when I come here because I feel more of a person, I feel more whole because I'm not just getting physical, I'm getting spiritual, mental, I'm getting guidance, stuff that I would never get from the hospital.